channel and welcome back for another vlog. If you are new then my name's Helen. It is a gorgeous spring morning. It's about half eight and I thought I would just pick up the camera and vlog today because I want you to keep me company more than anything. Tom's been away now for six days out of 12 so we're halfway through. He's in America at the minute for work. This is the first time he's ever been to the States. The longest time we've ever spent away from each other in the 11 years that we've been together. If you don't know who Tom is, by the way, it's my husband. The good thing is, is that he rings me like twice a day. So we still get to speak to each other. But he's about eight hours behind me. So um, it can get a little bit tricky sometimes. He's doing Colorado to California, back to Colorado, which is where he is now till tomorrow then he goes to north carolina then to virginia then to chicago then home flies home from chicago i think so yeah he's definitely packing everything and i'm so jealous i would love to go to america i said if he goes to a baseball game tonight then he needs to tell me he needs to buy a corn dog and tell me what it's like any knowledge i have about america has come from watching nickelodeon as a kid or trouble so like sister sister said by the bell Sabrina Teenage Witch, City High on Trouble, Hang Time, Sweet Valley High. Oh. So I thought we could spend the day together just because I've got quite a few nice things to do by myself. So I'm going to go have a shower, sort myself out, put a brush through this and, I, and have my first coffee. Then I'll be back and we'll get on with the day thank you for clicking on this video if you like videos like this then please give it a thumbs up and um hit subscribe while you're here and i will be back when i look a tad more presentable but i'm not promising much ready i need to set off to the groomers now connie come on darling come on i'll show you what she looks like before and then after are you going to the groomers we're going to the groomers. Let's get those eyebrows seen to Mrs. Yeah. Hello. So I've just got back from dropping Connie off at the groomers. Um, so I had my MRI scan a couple of days ago. They did really well with Can You Let Me. I've got a little bruise, um, but they managed it first time. And they usually go through my hand, um, but all my veins are basically buggered on this side because this is where I had all my chemo. But they can't take blood from this side because this is where I had my lumpectomy for breast cancer. So yeah, um, sometimes it's really stressful. It definitely brings it all flooding back when I have those checkups. So, um, anyway, on a lighter note, I've done an ASOS order this morning. So, I've ordered a few dresses. Um, I'm actually at a wedding on Easter Sunday, which I'm so excited for. And it's at a castle. I've always wanted to see this venue. It's supposed to be incredible. So, I kind of want to go for like a nice, low tea, midi, like pretty dress for it. The last time I got really dressed up for a wedding was September 2019. And I've ordered five dresses because I don't know what suits me at the minute. Um, and I've kind of just put them all on my credit card and I'll return whatever it is that I don't end up um, liking on me. Because I will only be keeping one of the dresses and probably the shoes that I've ordered. So I That's the first one. The second one is this one from River Island, which I really don't think I'm going to like because I don't think I like the way that the sleeves sit on the arm. This, I think, is absolutely gorgeous and I think will look really nice on the right person. It, I love those sleeves as well and I've ordered that in a bit of a bigger size as well so that it's like more flattering on my arms. So, um, I ordered those shoes, which are just like a wide fit um, nude sandal, which are going to come in handy anyway for summer. So I reckon I'll keep those. Oh, absolutely love this dress and it's just gone out of stock but keeps coming back in um in certain sizes how stunning is that and how nice would it be for like a spring wedding so i ordered that and then the last one is this um another asos design one um which is like really covered up so i feel like i'd feel come that's either gonna look like i'm wearing a bin bag and it gives me absolutely no shape i'm really small and like quite like very actually very pear shaped um so whether this looks nice on me or whether it'd be nicer on someone a bit taller and leaner um but i love the color of it it's like a mint green color with little floral um details on it i love that button detail down the front and it's long sleeved as well so i'd probably wear my hair up with that just so there's just not too much going on and i don't look like cousin it 
like I'm just sick of my hair at the minute. I cannot wait to get it done next week. It's just so limp. I feel like Bon Jovi, I'm sick of it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna make some scrambled egg on a bagel with some chives, black pepper. Let's go make some brunch. <laughs> long. My groomer always puts her a little bow on when she's finished. Kept her eyebrows long. Tail nice and short. Back nice and short. Um, I actually took her to the vet yesterday, didn't I sweetie? For those who are only just finding my channel now, this is Connie. She's my two year old miniature schnauzer. She's due to be spared in June but I took her for a check up yesterday because she needed half a booster jab. And she also, she's also got a little lump on her back. Um, the vet seems to think that it is sebaceous cyst, which apparently this breed are prone to. Right, Lynn, let me let you down. You're gonna have a drink. She weighs about nine kilos, which I thought was a little bit heavy, but the vet was really pleased with her. He had a good feel of her and everything and said, she's a really good weight. Apparently when um, dogs are being spared, it's best to, um, have them as lean as possible so they don't bleed um, so they don't bleed as much now i'm gonna get on with potting my oh. new olive trees but let me find where are my bits and bobs that i bought yesterday i went to b and q i got myself a little oh no this was from b and m actually got myself a little shovel trowel these cute little gardening gloves some compost from b and q these were from b and m though and some oh these secateurs that's what you call them secateurs yeah um are actually for clipping down the thicker branches of the stuff that's going into my spring wreath that i've ordered from <coughs> ashley at the suffolk nest i'm gonna be doing my spring door display with like my new olive trees and everything i'm really excited path could do with jet washing and stuff but um whilst the rain's holding off I'm going to go and crack on with a bit of gardening stuff now. I'm going to change into something a little bit warmer. And I'll be back in a minute. Hello. Hi. How are you? Are you? What's your plan for today then? Um, so I'm going to Waffle House for breakfast. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to shooting. Then I'm going to some burger place for lunch. Then I'm going to baseball. I was awake really, really late last night. Were you? Yeah, I think it's because I was watching Jimmy Savile. I think I need to stop watching disturbing stuff. <laughs> Connie's absolutely shattered after a groom. Look at her. Connie. Connie. Hello, princess. Mm. Just finished on the phone to Tom. Oh, it was so nice to speak to him. Um, he won't be working today in America, so he's being like entertained for the day. He's going shooting to a baseball game. Um, so that's really exciting for him. I am stood in the master bedroom, so I thought I would give you a bit of an update. It's halfway through being plastered. Um, any big cracks that we had in the wall have already been filled, and um, he's sort of like the plaster has prepped it all. He's got all of his tools here. He left them here the other day. He was due to finish tomorrow, but he had a crash midweek, which means he has to come back tomorrow and finish next Thursday, which is fine because the tiling isn't due anywhere till the beginning of May. So, so we've got a couple of weeks where we don't need to be rush, rush, rush. That is one piece of advice that I would give to anybody that's renovating. If you are getting different trades, people try and leave a week or so in between. I know it drags out the job a little bit, for a little bit longer, but it takes away the pressure for not only the tradespeople in case something goes wrong and they end up delayed, but also you because then you're not flapping thinking that you're gonna end up cancelling um, cancelling work and things like that because people aren't finished. 
So yeah, let me show you around and show you what's going on. This is what the master bedroom looks like so far. He's just like sheeted up, but we are getting rid of this carpet, so it's no big deal, really. Um, some of the electrics have been chased out, so the TV is going back there on that wall, and we'll just sort of have it flat to the wall. Um, there's really nowhere else we can put it. I would have thought that wall there next to the arch, but we are having a mirror there. It also could have gone on this wall here next to the window, but I sort of just feel like on that wall, it's not going to take over the room. Um, I don't want the telly to be like a central point of the room, if you get what I mean. This ceiling isn't being skimmed because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, but he, yeah, he's done all this like patching up bits and bobs. But you can see we had a big crack there behind the radiator and he's just sorted that out ready to plaster. Um, through this bit where the wardrobes were, last time you saw this part, the wardrobes were still here, so this gives you a better idea of how much space we're working with. I know obviously when we have the new wardrobes in and everything, it'll look a lot different in here, but you can see the plaster's just dry in now. Titch Marsh, am I? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No. Right, put that back in. So these are the new ones. How gorgeous are they? 24 99 I think they are. Yeah. 24 99 and it actually says on them, um, position them in a sunny or lightly shaded position, which is exactly where they are. Um, in winter, best to move to a more protected position, but this is quite protected, so I think I am just gonna leave them out this year and see what happens. A woman that was actually in Aldi that saw them in my trolley said, just leave it out, mine are absolutely fine. Olive tree is my favorite, they just remind me of my wedding, because I had like the leaves as confetti. And I had olive leaf in my hair. We had them on the table settings as well. So pretty. So much better. When Tom gets back from America, we'll tidy up all this bit, jet wash, and then fill up the stone a little bit more so it looks nice and fresh. Gardener's due soon as well to um, turf this little part here. And the magnolia tree is doing well as well. Good morning. It is the next day. So I didn't end the vlog last night. I don't know if you can hear the noise upstairs. The plaster was here this morning. Um, I was gonna make the wreath and then I decided, well actually, I'm gonna be in all day today, so why not make the most of it and do it today whilst I'm in the house. It from the Suffolk Nest. You might already follow Ashley on Instagram, but she does the most amazing flowers. She does um, fake arrangements as well that you can buy. Um, and then she does these wreath kits. So I wanted one at Christmas, but the house was upside down, so I didn't really see the point. So I thought, because it's my birthday on Wednesday and Tom's away, I thought I'd treat myself to this wreath kit. It was £60. I'm going to have to follow her tutorials. I'm doing it. This is the first time I've ever made a, a wreath, but I'm not the best when it comes to practically making stuff. I've got a good eye for things, and I feel like I know what looks right. So I'm creative in that sense, but I'm not practically creative like my mum, who can literally look at a picture of something and do it exactly the same, or... Like she can literally make anything and do anything. I'm not like that. But I'm gonna give it a good go and I thought it'd be a nice way to spend my Sunday morning. So let's go on with it. So it's been a couple of days since it all came. So you get the wreath base, you get the wire, you get a bag of moss that you're supposed to keep like spritzed once it's out of the bag. So you get six of those. You also get some string to hang it on your door. 
don't know if that's going to be long enough but i've got some upstairs and it's a bit thicker as well so i might use that i don't know yet um then you get eucalyptus and you get loads of olive as you can see you then get these um eggs eggs and feathers you get the tulips there is a list on the website of everything um so maybe i'll put the names of everything uh and then you get these bulbs as well and then you get this stuff <laughs> whatever this is then you get some of this as well finished but uh, this is what it's looking like so far so I've added the olive leaf and the eucalyptus and it's starting to kind of take shape now but it's definitely <laughs> wild looking I think I'm gonna manipulate this side a little bit to make it look a little, little bit more circular um, but I don't mind it looking a little bit messy and then you can see here you can see the bulbs which I don't mind too much but then the vials that have got the flowers in I'm gonna hide them with the leftover foliage because I've got, excuse her by the way, <laughs> um, I've got quite a lot left over so I'm liking how it's looking at the top, I just need to fill it out a little bit more at the bottom, I've still got some more stuff that I can add um, and then I've still got these nice little bits as well so I'm going to carry on, I just hung it there to sort of see the shape of it a little bit better and now I can take it off and carry on. All finished and it's hung up. I've gone really cold all of a sudden. It's not the most circular wreath you'll ever see, but it's unique and it's personal to me and I made it, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> Love it. So those dresses have just arrived from ASOS. This was my favourite one, um, but you can't wear a bra with it. How annoying. And I kind of need it to balance out my hips. So this is a no, but it's an absolutely gorgeous dress. I feel like somebody with a bigger chest, this would look stunning on because it's like really floor to here, so dead flattering on your arms. Um, shame, I love the print of it as well and the colour of it. Gutted. This is the second one. I can't fasten it up at the back, but not flattering at all. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't like this. I'm not going to be keeping this one, but I love the print of it, and I think on the right person it would look so nice. Um, I just don't even know what bra you would even wear with that. It's definitely not right, it's too long as well, but gorgeous, gorgeous dress, just not on me, unfortunately. Next. The way it fits is really weird. <laughs> really weird. Uh, it clings to my stomach. Don't like the legs split on it. Don't like it. <laughs> wow, this is, this is gorgeous, but it's too tight. 
on my back. I got it in petite. I'm only four foot eleven, so that's definitely right. But I think they only had a size eight. Now I know I'm not a size eight, but sometimes with really floaty stuff, I can get away with a small size. Yeah, I was definitely pushing my luck with this. Where it's really tight on me is like around my back, so it won't come around. It won't fit around my boobs now. I just don't know whether in a size 10 it would look as nice because it fits me perfect around like here and I feel like it's not too tight on my arms or anything. Fits quite nice around my stomach. Um, I would definitely just wear some like sucky any pants. Um, and then it's like floaty at the bottom. Oh, it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. It's just... It just won't do up and I feel like the colour really suits me as well. I would wear like a low ponytail curly with like cheek curly bits at the front like this. Um, maybe like a, a bag the same colour as that pink nude shoes. Maybe if they do have this in a 10 I might order it again. Like I can button it up just to where my boobs are. What do you think of this dress? Do you think it's pretty for a wedding? Whoa. I do. I really like this and I feel really comfortable in it too, apart from this section obviously. Um, but yeah. So this was the last dress and this is a no as well. So one, I don't really like the colour of it on me or anything, I don't think it suits me. Um, another thing is that it's really low cut but it does nothing for this area. You can, the good thing about it is it's really adjustable so you can tie it right in at the sides. Hello, it is later in the day. My kitchen is a mess. I've been doing a Hello Fresh tonight for tea, so even though it's Sunday, there's no roast over here. I'm having speedy chicken noodles. This. Do you want to see if it turned out like the picture? Not bad, not a bad attempt. I love having noodles in like a that is a cereal bowl, isn't it? I got them from John Elm last weekend. I didn't have any bowls like this. Uh, the afternoon just absolutely flew um after i tried those dresses on which you know was a big fat fail i spoke to tom's mum on the phone so she just rang me and asked me how i was doing whilst tom was away which i thought was the sweetest thing I've ever like she told me that she's getting a new puppy uh, a miniature labradoodle <laughs> i don't know if you can actually see him but that's him um how cute yeah, and she just checked in with me, which was really nice. And I spoke to my mum on the phone before I knew it. I put a reel on Instagram and it's dark outside. So, honestly, ever since I put that wreath on the door, I keep thinking someone's going to come and chop it off and, and steal it. Like, I've, I don't know why I'm being so big-headed about it. It's not that good, is it? Not that someone's going to actually go out of the way to come and steal it. Before this goes cold, I'm going to go and eat it now and end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. Goodbye from me and my big fat bowl of noodles. Mwah.